Top 5 Kratos Deaths in God of War Hello and welcome to Extreme Gameplays where I play games stylishly. Today I'm coming in with another Top 5 and it's gonna be about Kratos' deaths in the series. Kratos had been known as a guy who dies a lot. He never dies dies, but his deaths still have some weight to them, as sometimes they set off a journey, or some other times his death flat out ends a journey. And today, I'm here to rank my favorite deaths of this guy. Oh my god, say this, say that with a straight face. With that being said, let's not waste your time, let's start with the number 5 spot, and it is God of War 2's secret death scene against Atropos. I really, really like this one, since it's a secret scene that you can see if you lose but what's more than that is the fact that the game even has it as a thing like it's a, it's a thing in the game this basically shows us the weight of the situation no effing around you die in your battle with Ares and you're wiped from your current existence. I love how this one shows us the bad ending. How Kratos looks over and there's nothing that can save him. Giving the player a good perspective on how on time everything was in the battle against Ares. Truly wonderful. It's also beautiful how everything is vice versa in here. Like if you die in this current timeline where you're battling on the sword, the past Kratos dies, and if the past Kratos dies, the current Kratos dies. So, such a really awesome, wonderful, bad ending to have as a secret ending as well in God of War 2 is really, really awesome. Takes the number 5 spot. Coming up next at number 4, we have God of War Ragnarok when Thor kills Kratos. My god, I love how they pulled an Arkham Asylum on us. Oh no. I say when we're done. <laughs> I'm not leaving till I see the real you. Get up! This brought so many memories for me. How you mash circle and it leads to nothing. It is just so good and shows how ruthless and petty Thor is. He was still not done with you and needed more. And that right there kinda made Kratos get serious and take the situation seriously. This is no place to fuck around to find out. This guy does not play around. Simply love this one. It's just a reality check to Kratos. Like, take this fucking shit seriously. Come on, stop stop this whole holding back shit. A really short and sweet segment that tells a lot without saying anything. It just shows it to you. Takes a number 4 spot. Next up at number 3, we have God of War 3's ending. This death scene leaves a lot for the viewer's interpretation, which is something I really like in stories. You don't know if Kratos stabbed himself out of pettiness to Athena, to end his life for once and for all, or to save humanity. You can interpret it however you want and it will still come out good. After all the chattering and Athena claiming the power to be hers, Kratos hits us with the iconic line we heard at the start of the game. My vengeance ends now. It's funny how Athena thought Kratos was going to kill her again, which would have been pretty baller, honestly. Next thing you know, Kratos takes this thing all the way in, and remember that it slipped out and he put it back in again. <laughs> this top 5 man, this channel, YouTube. The internet actually, as a whole. But all jokes aside, let's come back to the death and honestly just wow. The power of hope is spread out to mankind and Athena drops this fucking line and just look how they massacred my boy. That was meant for me! They will not know what to do with it! You disappoint me, Spartan. <clears throat> I would like to hope that that was Kratos simply laughing at Athena. I don't know if it is, but I would really love that it would be just that. There's just a lot to interpret in your own way. It's just so lovely, honestly. Athena takes the sword, refuses to elaborate, leaves, and we see Kratos getting revived again and leaving for Norse. It takes a number 3 spot, a really nice death scene. I, I really like this one. But next up at number 2 we have a much better one which is the God of a 1 death when Ares kills Kratos. Do I need to begin? Yes, I have to begin actually. What a crazy segment. You have been hunting for this box and been going through the craziest puzzles, encounters, and challenges this entire game just to make it to Pandora's box. And right as Kratos was about to open it, BOOM! Oh! HA! I got his ass! My babies, don't get that box from me! Oh, the masculine urge to throw a pole at somebody's abdominal! Just insane! Ares simply saw it happen and said no, retrieve the box and all that is left with Kratos is his shitty memories even in death haunting him. 
The awesome things about this death here never end. Kratos does not give up and the vengeful Spartan crawls out of the underworld to deliver the killing blow on Ares. It's also lovely how you meet the boat captain in the underworld, you know, the guy you killed at the start of the game. Who doesn't know him? <laughs> it's just great how Kratos- now hear me out, let me cook. The boat captain saved Kratos, which is insane, but it happened. This would have been my favorite death, but number one is just, it's just, it's just too good. At number one, we have God of War 2. Zeus kills Kratos this time, wow. This death changed the franchise forever, for better or worse. After fighting the Colossus of Rhodes and getting clapped by him right after beating it down, Zeus approaches and gives Kratos the bad news. Either become a servant of his or die on the spot. Kratos is a slave to no one, puts up a good fight after his power has been absorbed by the Colossus and the Blade of Olympus. Zeus comes out victorious and this happens this iconic line uh, submit i would rather die and then of course after all the beautiful talking these two have this iconic line by zeus the cycle ends here and it's not done he also does this oh. Oh. This death is sad, tragic, horrifying, and devastating for what happens even after the death. Zeus wipes every single Spartan right in front of Kratos' eyes. Of course, not Shorty over here. Before making it to the underworld, he again relives his memories, even in death, again, even in death, again. It's just, oh my god, this, what, what, what kind of shitty apple did this guy take a bite out of? Anyways, Gaia somehow heals him before he gets truly to the underworld gives him confidence and Kratos is back and kicking. And this sets up the amazing journey we go through in God of War 2. Everything this man does in the game and what comes after. This death right here triggered it. This death started it all. All the revenge against Zeus and all the other shit making it the number one spot in today's top 5. With that we come to the end of the video. What do you think about the deaths? How do you feel about the number one spot? Let me know in the comments. It has been your Extreme Gamer Zesty. Remember, peace.